is fair down the line off the bat of Springer. Third time Springer's been on base tonight. Springer drives one deep to left field, and he has done it. A three-run home run, a career-high 35th on the year. Springer, in a full-out sprint, gets the waiver around from Gary Pettis, and that is an inside-the-park home run. Springer at the wall. was special it really was that's one thing you cannot teach that is natural instinct and talent taking over for a guy like George Springer you've heard the term five tool player it's pretty much a cliche in baseball these days but it almost undersells what George Springer actually brings to the Blue Jays it's one thing to be above average in all five categories it's another to excel in two of the most important ones that is up and out of here First pitch of the ball game, George Springer with a home run. Springer had 14 home runs in 51 games during the shortened 2020 season. Over a typical 162 game grind, that's a 40 plus homer pace. In 2019, Springer missed 40 games due to injury, but still crushed 39 home runs. And if you want to talk about clutch, guess who's tied with Albert Pujols as the active leader in postseason homers? The amazing thing about Springer and all that pop, he doesn't strike out much, and that's rare in this breed of all or nothing free swingers. One of the reasons the Blue Jays were drawn to him on the free agent market is an excellent 361 career on base percentage. And he struck out in just 17% of his plate appearances last season, the lowest rate of his seven year career. When you combine that plate discipline with his compact and powerful swing, it's no wonder the Blue Jays are salivating with all of the options they have at the top of the order these days. Whether you pencil him in at one, two, or three in this lineup, Springer's versatility and consistency at the plate is exactly what the Blue Jays coveted. In the air to center field, on comes Springer! He makes another diving catch! George has done it again! Springer has yet to win a gold glove, but he's still one of the game's better defensive outfielders. That hole the Blue Jays had in center field, it's no more. He did not make a single error last year, but more importantly, he's been credited with 13 defensive runs saved over the past two seasons alone. That ranks seventh among all big league center fielders. You can tell by these catches, the dude just looks smooth out there. He's a significant upgrade over Randall Gritchett. A big reason for that is his speed, which you'll probably notice way more in the outfield than on the base pass. Springer's natural athleticism allows him to cover ground, close in on balls, and come up with those highlight reel grabs when he needs to. But because he has such great instincts in the outfield, you won't see him make an adventure out of a ball he can get to more efficiently. Base runners know by now, don't test Springer's arm. That ball into right field, it's going to fall in for a hit. Around third comes Castillo, here's George's throw home. He's out at home plate. Statcast clocked that throw at over 96 miles per hour. When Springer gets a chance to unleash that cannon, man, look out. Plays like this, turning a double into an out will certainly win him over with the Blue Jays pitching staff. So there you have it, the five tools of the $150 million man that will be on display over the next six seasons. For a young team searching for veteran stability and next level versatility, you couldn't have scripted a better fit.